Good morning everyone, maintenance has just ended and there is a lot of new stuff that has been added into the game as well as a lot of bug fixes that we really really needed. Now I know last week was pretty garbage, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty garbage, but I like to focus on the positive side of things and well, today a lot of things are fixed and I'm very happy to announce it to you guys. But first, if you're new to the channel, I upload PSO2 NGS content daily. Yes, I'm gonna stick with PSO2 NGS. It sounds better, all right? So if you play this game, I'd really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. Alright, the first thing we're going to talk about is what has been added into maintenance as well as the bug fixes, so forth and so on. But if you want to read it for yourself, the link will be in the description below um, because I'm going to be skimming straight through it. So the first thing most important is apology stuff, you know, because servers were absolutely uh, poo poo. They have given us a hundred star gems as well as some rare drop plus 25% and half scape doll. And this is really, really nice stuff, mainly the star gems because they have also added in the new star gem scratchy, which we're going to see in a second in game because I'm going to gotcha because I don't have a gotcha addiction, I swear. Um, next up are the bug fixes. So the one number one most important one is the game lag. Lag is mostly fixed. There has been like 30 seconds of lag throughout the four hours I've played so far since the servers came up. So I am pretty confident that the servers are fine. The second most important fix is over here with your augments, error messages appearing and augments not being added when enhancement aids are used when a fix augments so this has been fixed so thank goodness we can now use our augmentation aids in order to make your augments and get them to like 90% or 100% so that you can get your augments a lot easier and last but not least they have addressed a bug that sometimes causes n meseta to decrease whenever you level up or when you teleport or move to a different zone or area so forth and so on so those are the main three bugs that plagued most people that I know of obviously there are a bunch of other bug fixes down here so you can read it for yourself again the link is in the description below now with all the bug fixes out of the way let's talk about what's changed in game Number one, and most importantly for most people, I think, is going to be the daily task. If we go to dailies, I've completed them because I'm definitely not addicted to this game. Um, you may have noticed that the gathering quest has been decreased to five instead of ten. This used to be, you know, required to collect ten seafoods in the northern Alio region, and nobody could find these lobsters because all of the lobsters were eaten by GM Custom. He went on an eating spree, and he mukbanged all of the lobsters away, and that's why we couldn't get any more lobsters. But now our dailies only require 5 instead of 10 which makes life a lot easier. They have also addressed the bug where gathering items do not appear correctly so hopefully this means all of the material spawn rates have been fixed because all the materials are supposed to spawn on daily reset so I don't know if this is true or not I have not had enough time to test it yet but I'm sure you guys can let me know in the comment section below now the dailies out of the way do not forget your weeklies your weeklies have reset so don't forget to blast through your weeklies because it is a huge source of meseta all right with that out of the way the last thing is going to be about the scratch when we go to the shop over here and play scratch tickets or you can press f11 on your keyboard and it'll open up this menu you as well and you will notice right here free scratch ticket yes you get one free scratch every single day all you got to do is press this now let me turn on some in-game sound so you can hear all the fancy sound effects now if you're wondering what you can get from the daily free sg ticket you can simply click on the price list over here and look through at all the different items so for example let's say you want to preview this you can click on it and preview and if I move my camera thing over here, you can now check out the character. So we're going to do our free pull first, and then we're going to spend SG and do our 40 pulls in order to get our ticket. Now the main thing that I actually want from this SG scratch ticket are only the stamps. It's really just the stamps that I want. I don't really care about any of the other cosmetic items that much, because I'm pretty happy with the way my character looks. So let us start off with our free ticket. Remember, this resets every single day. This scratchy also lasts for 7 weeks. So so you literally have 49 free pulls so if you want to be very very economical or very stingy with your star gems you can just do the free pulls every single day and uh, hope that you get something good so here we go oh this is just a regular you can see the scratch card is blue so that means it's normal and voila now do keep in mind that everything from the SG scratch ticket is not tradable. You cannot put this on the player market, you cannot give this to your friends. It is stuck on your character, stuck on your account. And then the next option you can get here is to use all if you want. I'm not going to use all, so voila. 
there it is now i gotta wait until daily resets and then i can pull again all right now there's one more thing that i forgot to mention remember that 100 free star gems we all got how exactly do we get it because it didn't pop up here that's for sure what you need to do is press escape go to systems and go to get campaign items over here and you'll notice right here receive item account three Right here, you'll notice that you've got a whole bunch of goodies over here. We're going to pick those up, because why the heck not? I love Star Gems. Pick that up and pick that up, right? Once that's all done, you need to open up your inventory and go to consumables. And over here are your Star Gems. 50 Star Gems, you're going to eat one, another 50 Star Gems, and eat that again. Boom. And now you can see, voila, we have a hundred Star Gems. So that is two pulls on the SG Scratch Ticket if you want to do that. So we're going to go to the shop over here. We are going to go to the scratch tickets and boom to passionate spirit. So you'll notice on the passionate spirit banner over here, if you play 40 times, you'll get a passionate spirit ticket, which will allow you to pick whatever item you want from this list over here. However, the daily free SG ticket will not count for the 40 pulls over here. All right, so you have to keep that in mind. So I'm going to pull 10 over here. Yes, buy now and let us go. Blue means nothing good. That's that sucks. All right, let's see what do we get. We got this again. All right, all right, all right. Eh, we got one stamp. We got the man on stamp. Good. All right, that's what I wanted. So over here, we're gonna close. I'm not gonna use all because I want to see everything later. And we're gonna do again. So this is my second ten pull. This is legendary. You see, everything's rainbowed. It's gold. And boom, you see, these red ones are the legendary ones. So, boom, we got her scarf. Boom, we got, what are these, cheeks, rosy cheeks. All right, interesting. We got two tongues. We got Ina's joy stamp, which is good. We got dozer stamp. And we got man on stamp again. Oh, yo. All right, that's pretty good. And then let's do it one more time. Here we go. Oh, another legendary. Beautiful, beautiful. I saw one legendary item. Yep, it's just one. All right. Reptilian eyes. Ooh. Ina stamp again. Ina's hair. Beautiful. Crawford. Good morning. Nice, nice, nice. Do I have all the stamps yet? No, I'm missing Gaora's stamp. I'm missing one stamp, and then I will be done. All right. We're gonna. We're not gonna use it. Okay, 10 more times for the bonus below. We will get the Passionate Spirit Ticket after we do this pull over here. So right here, let us do... Oh, Legendary again. Come on. Oh, I saw one. Two. Nice. What do we get? Natural Twin. Right, I'm not a big fan of that one. Oh, we got the Scarf again. Oh, we got Garor's Rage. Yes. Perfect. 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 All right. All right. Now, and then we got the bonus, which is the Passionate Spirit Ticket. All right, so we're going to close this. We're not going to use everything yet. Then you're going to get this message over here. Scratch ticket, prize slip, obtain passionate spirit ticket, allowing to exchange for any prize from the prize list of this SG scratch ticket. And you'll be able to use this ticket to pick up any item that you want. So voila, we are done. I'm not going to spend any more of my star gems. You can see I spent 2000 star gems there in order to get this ticket. Now, if you play another 40 times, you will get another ticket and it just keeps looping forever and ever until you get all the items you want from the scratch ticket. All right. So now that we finished scratching, we have all of these items over here. So you may notice that I have duplicates. So the nice thing about duplicates is if you use two of the same items, it will unlock it for your entire account. So the TLDR is if you use one of the cosmetic item, it will be bound to that specific character. So my character right here in her kimono. However, if I use two of the same items, then all of my characters on the account will gain access to that cosmetic item. So for example, this facial scar over here, I'm going to eat another one. So voila, you'll see right here, you'll be able to select it with all characters. So the character that you saw in yesterday's series, where I leveled a brand new character on ship one, will gain access to all those cosmetic items as well. And the same thing over here with this base wear. If I eat two of these, 
now that character has access to those looks as well. And what you can also take note of is after you've eaten two of the same copy, this is now grayed out. You cannot eat it anymore because it's registered to all characters already. But there is something you can do with these, so don't worry, I will show you that in a second after I consume all the items. Alright, so you can see over here there are four leftovers which I can't use because I've used them already, I've unlocked all the stamps already. As you can see here, I've got Ina stamp and I go next page, I've got Manon, I've got Garora, I've got Dozer, and I also have Crawford. I've unlocked all the different stamps over here. Man, I really love this one. This one's really cute. Anyway, once that is done, we are going to head over down here to the item trader. So we talk to the item trader right here. You're going to go to item recycle and go to the last tab on the left. And right here, you're going to see a new SG recycle badge. You're going to click on this and you can exchange these items into these badges. So you're simply going to click yes and voila, item has been exchanged. Now once you have these recycle badges, you can use them in order to exchange for a success rate plus 15% if you want, but I don't advise you because it costs 20 of these badges. Another thing you can also use the badges for is going to be the enhancement success rate plus 50%. It only costs 6 of them, but don't be fooled. This is enhancement success and the bottom one is augmentation success, alright? There are two separate things. Enhancement is when you try to enhance your weapon, you know, get it to plus 40. Augmentation is when you add the little fine text into your little slots and that is augmenting all right so don't mix those two up very important but in my personal opinion i would just hold on to the recycle badges because later down the line as the game matures we will get more options all right i forgot to mention where the passionate spirit ticket goes after your 40 scratches it actually goes into your storage so what you want to do is you want to click on all storage go to the miscellaneous tab over here and literally just type spirit and click search and boom right here passionate spirit ticket is going to show up you're going to retrieve it and once it's in your inventory you can press f11 to open up the scratch go to the passionate scratch one and right here exchange ticket for your prizes so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna exchange it for the aina's voice because i feel like a lot of people probably are curious to hear what her voice is like since if you click on it and you go preview you don't hear anything so uh, what i'm gonna do is i will use my ticket to pick up her voice so once i have her voice ticket i'm gonna press i over here go right here and aina's voice ticket i'm gonna use it and boom once this is done then we need to head over to the salon once we're in the salon we're gonna hit edit miscellaneous and voice edit so over here you'll probably start at page one with the ngs simple voices you want to go to the last page right here so i'm currently using the asna voice but you can change it to aina voice right here and we can change the pitch back to regular And that is the English voices. Now, if you want to change the language to the Japanese voices, you can do so by simply logging out. Once you're back in the title screen, you're going to press the enter key or whatever key you want. And you're going to go to language settings and change the voice to Japanese. Once that's done, you're going to click confirm. It's going to restart the game. So Sega. Once that's done, you're going to select your ship and just log in like normal. And again, we're going to go to miscellaneous, voice edit. And you'll notice that my Asna's voice is in Japanese as well. But we're not here to listen to Asuna's voice, we're here for Aina. I have her voice a little bit lower, so it's a little bit more deeper. However, by default, it is like this. So that is how you use your voice ticket as well as switch between the English and Japanese voices. And if you want to switch around with the pitch and you want her chipmunk voice, you can go all the way to 10 here. And you can get chipmunk voice. And if you want super deep voice... And you can mess around with that as well. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is, of course, the salon. You may have noticed that I've suddenly changed clothes all of a sudden because I'm redoing this part, re-recording, because uh, there's some things that we need to talk about. So once you're in the salon, the first thing you want to check is your fashion. So edit fashion. And if you go to outfits over here, you'll notice that you won't have any outfits. But this is where I have my kimono, my worldly maiden. This is my default look. I, I like this look a lot. 
but unfortunately this requires you to have base pso2 outfits which most players i'm assuming don't have so if you don't have that and you just did your sg scratch you want to come to layering wear over here and at base wear then you're going to notice up here there's going to be a whole bunch of outfits with the white background the white backgrounds mean that this is the new genesis body type so when i click on it i'm going to get a bunch of uh, messages over here saying that it has changed to the new Genesis body type. Now the main difference between the new Genesis body type versus the base PSO2 body type is the fidelity. You're gonna see over here when I zoom in, there is a lot of detail on the buckle over here, everything, it looks much higher resolution, my fingers look very nice, and um, yes, 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 very, very curvy, very, very nice character, right? However, let's say that I switch over to my base body type, let's say, you know, we can switch over to the nurse outfit over here, and we zoom in. You're gonna notice that it looks a lot more, um, you know, lower resolution. It's not as high fidelity. It might be a little bit uh, more jarring. So that is the main difference. But there is also one more difference, and that is finger movement. If you have any emotes that have finger movement, you need to have the new body type. The old body type does not have finger movements when you do emotes. So that is another reason why a lot of people would gravitate towards the new body type. Now there's one more thing about these outfits I need to talk about. However, you need a color pass. So over here you can see base wear color settings. You can change the color if you don't like it. So let's say I don't like the black. Maybe I want it to be purple. I can do that and I can change it to different shades of purple, so forth and so on, until I find a color that I like. And let's say that, okay, I'm gonna stick with this. I'm gonna press escape and when I do save changes, it's gonna use a base wear color settings which will consume one of these color change passes. Now I have 30 of these sitting in my inventory. I don't know where I got them or when I got them. However, just check your inventory to see if you have these color change passes if you want to change the color of your outfit. And last but not least, again we're going to click on a little t-shirt and accessories. Accessories over here, you can add a bunch of accessories. So you can see there is a cost over here. It says 10 out of 18 which means I can add 8 more cost worth of accessories. So when I click on here, I can add a whole bunch of accessories over here that I've just unlocked. So let's say that I want to add Garora's mask over here. I can add the mask. And this costs two. You can see the little two on the bottom left corner. So now I am 12 out of 18. And let's say that I want to add something else. Maybe I want to add the little scarf. I can add that. That costs four. So now I'm 16 out of 18. And then I can add one more accessory. Let's say I, I, this one costs two. You know, I can add the little blush. And voila, you see now I am 18 out of 18 for accessories and I can't add any more. When I try to add, it says can't because uh, I am at the limit, all right? Now if you want to remove them, you click on here and you go remove, click here, remove, and click here, remove. And voila, now my character is back to normal. All right. So before I end the video, I am going to be switching to my ship one character just to show you that all of the cosmetic items that I consume two copies of will carry over to my other character, which is on ship one. So now my character is in the salon. I can go to edit fashion, layering wear, and I can switch this out. You can see here I was wearing Cathedral Mini F which is an old costume, but because I had it unlocked on the entire account, my fresh brand new character had access to this. However, we're going to stick with the new body types now. We're going to go with this one right here because I kind of like the black, it looks pretty nice. However, I will be removing the little gem thing over here, it doesn't really match the aesthetic that well. I don't really want the necklace thing anymore, so maybe I can add in this instead to replace it. Now if you click it again, you can go to advanced settings and you can change the position as well as the the size of your accessories. Let's say you want the accessory to be bigger like this, you can make it gigantic like that if you so want to do it. Then you can just mess around with anything. You can mess around with the thing, like you can flip it inside out, you can flip it upside down. Actually just messing around with that kind of worked out pretty well. And I think I'm just going to save changes. I'm going to be happy with how this looks. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!